Welcome to Mouse Job Genius, your destination for humane and safe pest control. Today we're going to ask this age-old question, or at least a question a lot of people are asking recently, and that is, is peppermint oil actually a good repellent for mice and other rodents, or is it just a fad? I did use this method, and I found that it worked, but it's hard to say in such a short amount of time. So I did some research, and I don't want to say I'm just jumping on the bandwagon, but I think that a lot of people have found that this method does work in keeping mice away. So I think it's a great alternative to poisons or chemical repellents because it's so much simpler and it's so much safer to use in your home. Which brings us to the product we're going to be looking at today, which is Grandpa Gus's mouse oil repellent. You want to find a product that actually is tailored to repelling mice because using just peppermint oil is not as effective. The main ingredient in this repellent is peppermint oil, which is safe for dogs and other pets and around children. And mice don't like it, so they either stay away or they leave when they start smelling it. If you're already experiencing a mice problem, I would suggest looking around this channel and finding some good traps. Because if you're trying to get rid of mice with this peppermint oil, you have to find their nests. And usually mice nests are inaccessible, and even if they are, you'd have to replenish it daily. And who's to say they won't just move to a different location in your home? But if you've recently gotten rid of mice, then this is the perfect product to keep them out. I recently caught three mice under my kitchen sink. And this has happened before where mice have gotten in, and that's where they tend to go. That's where I find mice in my house. So I decided to use this product to keep them out so I won't have to deal with this problem anymore. The first thing to worry about with this product is the amount you use. You really want to be liberal with how much you use because you want the mice to be able to smell it and to stay away. So what you do is you soak some cotton balls and put them where you think mice are coming in. The nice thing about that is that it smells pretty much just like peppermint, so it just makes your house smell fresh. It doesn't make it stink like some chemicals deterrents that you could use. The second thing to worry about with this product is location. You want to find where mice come into your house or building and you want to make sure there's no holes or different places they can get in and you want to fill those with one of these products and then place this so you have a double barrier. The third thing to worry about is how often you replenish the oil because you want to keep the smell strong. So if you just recently got rid of mice, I would say once a day you should make sure to refill those cotton balls, replace those cotton balls with new ones with even more um, oils in it so that it'll really smell like peppermint and they'll stay away. And if you're maybe just doing this as a preventative measure, then maybe once a week. If you use this product correctly, then it's a safe and simple repellent for mice. And a plus side to this is that some other pests are also repelled by peppermint oil, such as ants. So you might even solve that problem too. Plus, Grandpa Gus gave us a discount just for Mousetrap Genius viewers. If you put in this code at the checkout at Amazon, you can get 20% off your order. So just go to the link in the video description. Buy this on Amazon. Don't forget to use your code. Thanks for watching.